Jean Brittingham here with Smart Girls Way, and I'm at the Startup America HD Lounge at Demo 2011 Fall. We're in Santa Clara, and I'm here with Ginka and Steve, the founders of Give Me. So can you tell us a little bit about Gimme? Definitely. Um, Gimme, what we do is we print dynamic QR codes on receipts, and we allow anyone to snap those codes and send them back to Gimme for cash back redemptions on their purchases. We, we want to eliminate vouchers and coupons. I, I just find them embarrassing. <laughs> they're, they're cumbersome. We just want to get rid of them, and we think that, that post-purchase discounts are really the wave of the future. That's really nice. So yeah. it's like, give me my money. Definitely. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. And you were here launching? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, we actually uh, just got off the stage. So where are you in terms of uh, the product itself and the service? Do people use it right now? Well, well no one uses it right now. Currently, we have a uh, market-ready service for multi-chain uh, retailers and restaurants that want to do their own promotional mechanisms. We provide the, uh, the infrastructure to uh, generate, print, and process those codes. Nice, yeah. Um, we're currently uh, partnering with a major credit card uh, processor to sell that to major retailers nationwide. And, um, and then we also have a deal site that we're hoping to take live here pretty soon. We're pre-selling that right now. Good, that's awesome. So tell me what your experience has been like so far at Demo. What's it been like to be here with other entrepreneurs? Well, this is a first for me, so I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, one of the things that I did notice about Gimmo, which we, Demo, which we were talking about, was uh, how helpful everybody has been. And even if they're not in your category, or if they are in your category, Everybody is trying to help you succeed. And, and that's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, that's nice. It's one of those things where entrepreneurs helping other entrepreneurs is, uh, is really yes. different than some of the competitive things you get somewhere else. Definitely. Yes. It's really nice. It doesn't, it doesn't have that survivor feel to it where everybody's <laughs> out to win. Not quite so, so shark tanking, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, what's your experience so far in terms of um, working, uh, your co-founders and a cross-gender couple working that? How's that working out? Well, uh, we're not a couple, we're, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, things, things are working out great. Um, I, you know, I had previously done a startup before uh, from 2005 to 2008, okay. which had its own challenges, and um, I kind of went in the corporate world for a little bit, and uh, you know, we came up with this great concept in May, and it's unbelievable in to me, May? in May, and it's unbelievable to me how fast the uh, development cycle is now, kind of the post-iPhone phase. Oh yeah, it's amazing, yeah. it's really fun. Okay, last question, do you have one piece of advice for other early stage entrepreneurs out there? I do. Um, my, my first mistake with the with my first company was um, just putting too much into legal. I, I mean, I was probably 55 legal, 45 development, and the, we, we wanted to do things differently this time. So we put everything into development. We have, a, we have some legal protection, but we wanted to get a product made and ready, and that's the best thing. Just get out there, do it, and make it, and then worry about everything else later. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you both, Kinga and Steve, for coming, and best of luck. Great. Thanks. Thank you so yep. much. Nice, nice to meet you.